Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the perishable goods in Odoo 17. We know that perishable goods are mainly the food items or the products that can be easily decay or spoil over time. So in this case, we have to properly maintain the perishable items. So in order to manage this, Odo provide one of the inquisitive features of the removal strategy of FIFO, which is first expiry first out. The product that has first expiry date will be moving out of the inventory first. So let's consider an example where we have just received an order for the perishable goods from a customer. So in this case, Odo analyzes the product that are having less um, shelf time and easily remove that product from the inventory. So let's hop into the inventory database um, to manage the perishable items in Odo. So we know perishable goods refers to the products that have limited shelf life and are likely to decay or spoil over time. And these are typically food items, although some are non-food items uh, that can be also perishable. And the perishability of these goods is often due to the factors such as moisture, temperature, bacteria, and other microorganisms that can cause deterioration. Now let's dive into the inventory module to manage with the perishable goods. So in order to manage with the perishable goods, let's go to the configuration settings and we have to enable certain features from the configuration such as uh, I mean from the configuration settings such as the lot and serial number, expiration date, storage location, multi-step routes and all. So um, to manage with this, uh, first we have to set the lot and serial number so that would help you to identify which product is going to expire first. So according to that, we can just move out uh, of those products from the inventory. So when you just drag down, you can see a traceability section that would help to set you the lot and serial number, um, like the traceability from the vendors to the customers. And we can also set an expiration date like uh, whether the product is new or it's about to unfit for selling or not can be easily um, analyzed from the expiration dates. Now, you can also um, choose the storage locations that to track the product location in your warehouse. And we can also enable the multi-step route over here to know the routes um, that we are using. So, uh, let's consider the product milk. So, we know uh, milk is a perishable product which can uh easily uh, spoil our time so which is a storable product and here we can see we have just set a certain detail such as the sales price the cost and all and under the purchase app you can see the dedicated vendor for the milk is abigail peterson and uh, would provide this milk for ten dollar and under inventory we can just enable the route as buy and we also need to enable uh, the lot and serial number like we gonna um, track the item by using loads as well as we can also uh, check its expiration date so if you want to set an expiry date for the product you can enable the field that would let you to set the expiry of the product so here you can see that um, day days after the receipt will be 60 like um, once uh, you made a purchase of this product today it can be used for 60 days and we can set a day uh, before um, expiration date like uh, we can just remove the items uh, from 10 days of the expiration of the product from the inventory and we can just give an alert to the um, yeah uh, suppliers uh, regarding that um, only it's been 20 days uh, for the expiry of the product and uh, this can be only used best uh, I mean two days before the expiry of the product so we have set all the details over here and uh, when you just move on to the loads and serial number, you can also manage with the expiration date. So here, uh, currently, we haven't set any lot uh, number for the product. So if you want to just create a new lot and serial number for the product, um, you can just click on new and here you can choose the product. So currently, I'm not creating the lot or serial number from here. Now, we are going to deal with the locations because uh, we also maybe um, I need to check the track I mean need to track the uh, product location from the product is moving uh, like from which location uh, the product will be moving so I'll be using the uh, removal strategy for the location as first expiry first out which means the product that are expired to first uh, should be removed first from the inventory 
Now, we can also uh, set the removal strategy of the product uh, from directly from the product category. So as you just get into the internal link of the product category here, you can see that we have just set the force removal strategy as first expiry first out. Now let's move on to the purchase uh, module to purchase the item and to keep in the stock. So let me just create a new quotation by choosing the product. So our product is milk and here you can um, designate a winter. Um, let me choose Abigail Peterson as my winter and I need to purchase 20 quantity of the product. Click. Um, we are purchasing the product from Abigail to Peterson for 20 quantity and you can just save this and confirm the order. So we haven't received the product in the stock. So in order to receive the items in the stock, you can just click on receive product. And here we cannot validate the item without setting the lotto serial number. So if you try to validate this process, here you will get a wizard of invalid operation, which means you need to set a lotto serial number for the product milk. So let me close this and set the lotto serial number for the item milk where you can set the lot or serial number and you can see the expiration date of the product um, is uh, of 60 days counting from the day of the receipt. And here I'll be choosing load uh, 1 1 as the load number and let me uh, change the expiration date uh, to another date. So let it be 31st of December and I'll be providing five quantities over here. Uh, to be um, under this lot number and here you can choose um, yeah set another quantity so let me choose the load as load 1 2 where you can set uh, the expiration date as 1st of January and you can just apply that afterwards let me set um, 3 quantity over there and here we can just create another lot number, which is one three. I mean lot one three, and let me set the expiry expiry date as third, and you can set the quantity as two. Afterwards, let me uh, create the final one that is lot one four. And that has the expiry date um, over here and I'm not manipulating that where this load has 10 quantity now you can save this okay now let's save and valid validate the process so that the product will be keeping in the stock so if you want to check the quantity you can just uh, check that like let's move on to the purchase order and let's consider the product Okay, let's get into the internal link and as you just move on more you can see that currently we have 20 quantity in the stock now we have just received an order from the customer so let's move on uh, let's create a quotation because we have received an order from the customer decoded for milk uh, with eight quantity so here you can see we can just give the quantity as eight and what happens when a customer try to purchase the item as uh, here we have set the removal strategy of uh, FIFO that is first expiry first out here we have just created the product in stock with different uh, load number with different expiry date so in this case the priority will be setting for the item that is about to expire first so as the customer confirms the order the product will be moving from the stock um, like uh, from the inventory to the customer side that is about to expire first so let's try to deliver the item so you can just click on validate so that we can deliver the item to the customer so currently we have just delivered so if you want to know um, from which locations are which uh, which products have just moved out of the inventory first you can just click on here and you can see that um, as load number 11 and load 12 have the product that to expire first in the uh, storage location of the milk and that has moved first from the inventory. So it's very easy to manage with the lot and serial number uh, as well as the uh, first in first, I mean, uh, first expiry first out for the perishable goods in Odoo. So hope this concept is clear for you. Now let's 
uh, move on with the further process like creating the invoice and let's create the regular invoice so it's very handy and you can just confirm the order and let's um, request for the payment from the customer and creating the payment so after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank so before never let's say inventory to waste the products of a business so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video